Drink to me, drink to my health. You know I can't drink anymore. They're Picasso's last words, and if they're good enough for Picasso, they're good enough for me. Hopefully they won't be my last words though. Welcome to Swiggy Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews, and here today we have this little number. Golden Sheep Ale from the, the Black Sheep Brewery. Remember, I am trying to do all the Black Sheep beers. I'm trying to do them all in like a, a sequence, if you like. Uh, as they were a present from one of my old students. So here we go, let's crack it open. I'll just pause that a sec while I open it. Now I've opened it. And on the cannon smoke, whew, yeah. You get a nice little slight um, multi notes on there. Slight sort of nuttiness, maybe. A little bit of like a grassiness, like a slight citrusiness. Anyway, let's let's pour it in. So this is what it looks like when she gets poured in. Look, 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 look at this. This is a, a present from my wife, a Duvel glass. She got me that for Christmas. Very nice. Hmm. Anyone seen a Duvel glass that looks like this? Got all that graffiti right on it. So. Hmm. What am I getting on? Oh, I'm getting something on that. I'm going to swap hands because I can swish better with this hand. There we go. Swishing hand. Swish, 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 swish. If you can see, there's a little fly in it. So maybe I'll drink the fly too. Got these little black flies that end up everywhere. So it's got like this nice freshness, uh, slight maltiness, a little bit of a nuttiness from it, slight citrusiness coming through, lemoniness, very slight, bit of a caramelness coming on it. it smells like a nice, well balanced British beer. Anything else on there? It's got a nice carbonation on it, got nice lacing on the glass, so that's sound of good quality. Uh, it's, like, it's a lovely, nice golden colour, that, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Mm. Slight oranginess on the flavour. Yeah, that's the, the fruit for me that's coming through there. Body feel, medium. It's got a slight, it's got like a lingering citrusy bitterness that's that's actually well balanced it's not it, it's there's a little bit of a cloyness in there almost like an earthiness maybe from like um some sort of british hop i would say this is british hops in there i, I can't taste anything that tastes particularly continental um oh, on a hot muggy day like today pull back a bit mm. on a hot muggy day like today it's one to glug back you know so I want to enjoy. Um, it's 4.5%. 4.5%. Um, see what it says. It says, refreshing golden beer with a, a clean, wickedly Moorish finish. It is Moorish. Um, it's clean as well. On a day like today, it's something you can session on it's got enough quality it's got enough flavor to keep you interested i'm getting like a bit of an oranginess on that for me with almost like a slight lemon zest it's, it's quite malty i would say it's more it's like a malty beer with the sort of citrusy um bitterness to back it up um but it's nice. I like it. I like it's definitely. I like these kind of beers anyway. I ain't got a problem with like multi, multi standard British beers. It don't it, it don't bother me at all. I love my craft beers. You know, I, I love my craft beers. I'm going to show you loads of craft beers. I'm, I just look ponty if I do that. Uh, but I, but I love these beers too. Uh, these have certainly got a place in my heart. We'll say it was one pound fifty from Tesco because that's how much it is on the um, on the shop floor. So one pound fifty a bottle. And you're getting 500 mils. Let's see what it says. Born from the pioneering spirit of Paul Theakston, who in 1992 followed his heart and dared to start a new brewery. Oh, it says that on all of them, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't say anything about this beer then, because it says that on every every bottle. So it's not telling us anything. All it's doing is telling us about the brewery. Isn't it? And I read that on the last beer review, so I'm not right reading that again. Um, 
Yeah, so he's not giving us any tasting notes on there. Fair enough. You don't have to give us any tasting notes if you don't want to. At the end of the day, everybody's tastes different, you know. But what when people, somebody else might review this and think, Steve, it doesn't taste like that for me. There you go. I think what one thing that people would agree with is a very malt forward beer. The hops in there are quite subdued. Although the hops are there, just enough to carry it through. It's got a nice sort of bitterness, that, and, and that bitterness works with the car. I feel like the carbonation's better in this one than the back sheep. It's, it'll be exactly the same. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's because I'm in the mood for it more today. I don't know, but so I'll go hand in hand. It washes down. Um. Scores on the board. Uh, where would I go with this one? Similar to the last one. Similar to the last one. Maybe... Maybe it's not got quite as much character than the other one has. The other one's got more of this like, lingering citrus character. Though on a day like today, I would like to drink this one more than the other one. Because the other one was a little bit too... A bit too bitter. This one's a little bit more balanced. The other one, if, if I was to go on, if for a beer on cask, I'd probably go for the other one. But if I was to get a bottle beer again, I'd probably go for this one. I'm going to give it exactly the same score. I'm going to give it 7.8 out of 10. There's not a lot of, There's not a lot in it. There's nothing in it, really. Um, yeah, I, I just think it, it's, it's very similar to the last one. Let's see what else we've got in here. Velvet. Oh, there's Rigwell to right, yeah. Okay, don't spoil it for you because you know, I've just given a few names out there while I was reading it. Yeah, um, it's a good beer. 7.8 out of 10. Go and get one. It's, it's worth 150 for 500 mil. I've got this out at fridge quite cold. You can see it's condensation still in that glass. You can drink this quite cold and it's quite refreshing. I would suggest don't have it freezing. If you have it freezing cold, all the oils and stuff in the beer, they'll all sort of freeze and then you won't get the overall flavour of the beer. Really hoppy beers you can have quite cold out of the fridge. You, obviously your lagers can because the the, the, the the character of the hops comes through still. But beers like this, you know, the flavours separate a little bit. They don't all mix together if it's in the fridge. Um, it freezes all the flavour. They don't work together. You've got to, it, There's a reason why you drink real ales at cellar cool temperature because that's the perfect optimum temperature. So around about 7 degrees centigrade, between I think 17 and 13 degrees is it, or something like that, I don't know. Fridge temperature is actually too cold for real ale. So you could argue that I'm actually bastardising this beer by drinking it at fridge temperature, although it has been outside for probably about 10 minutes. So, but even at that, it's nice because it's a hot day, so you can appreciate it. And as the drink goes down, it warms up a little bit. So now, let's have another go. Yep. Yeah. A little bit of a metallic you note know, coming through now. Yeah, I'm still getting much of the same. And a bit of a breadiness, a bit of a maltiness, a bit of a slight caramelness coming through, and then the slight zest of a hop behind it. It's lovely. 7.8 all day long. Till next time, I'll see you around. Have a lovely weekend.